Hey y'all, it's your girl Brittany. I'm back better with another video. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, like the video, and click the bell to be notified of every time I post. Cause y'all know what it is. Y'all know I post frequently. All right, y'all. Y'all already know what we doing. We jumping, skipping, hopping, leaping, doing the duggy, my duggy duggy into this video. All right, make sure y'all click that link down below to go watch my clean sweeps over there and me do the last bit of 18 young and turn. All right, link is down in the description box. Become a member. All right, y'all. Let's get into this final. Thank God. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. I was getting tired of doing reviews on it. Low key. No shade. Um, Baddies Caribbean episode 20. Okay. Um, the episode wasn't that amazing to me. Got to the drama by the end. This is like my second time watching it. And I know I'm real late tonight, y'all. I'm super duper late. I don't... Time got ahead of me. And I've already pre-recorded the sim. So let me tell y'all, if it run out... Because I got 30 minutes. 30. 30. 30 minutes. <laughs> on my uh, screen recording of the sims. I think it's right at like 40. And y'all know I love to run my mouth. So if I get over... I apologize in advance. Oh, well. Oh, well. So, we start off the episode with the baddies giving back to charity or was about to give back to charity. They basically just gave out money to people in the streets, which is fine, too. Because, baby, if I was there, I would have been had my hand out very well as well when it came to them $100. When they started rolling out them dollars, I said, girl, I mean, a dollar is fine, too, over there. But a hundred, oh, that's... <laughs> Them folks is going to eat good that whole week, okay? So, we start off with, you know, the girls separating. Some of them is going to get a history lesson of the country and, you know, everything it's about. And then the other girls are going to go to the charity thing. So, we follow Biggie them first, which was way more entertaining. So, Biggie has come to the conclusion that Anna Meatball, they be using her, you know, as we know, allegedly, Meat Man sat up there and was trying to smoke all her Newports. So, once she realized, okay, she trying to smoke all my Newports, she trying to smoke all uh, my Bob Marley, I just can't continue to do this. Like, I no. Baby, we are all balling on the budget here. I need my smokes, okay, to get through to deal with y'all. I need my high, okay? So, they go to the smoke shop. In the midst of that, now, I'm not a smoker, so this is how I'm gonna give it up. She bought a whole bunch of leaves. I'm thinking she bought all them leaves because, you know, they smoke so much. She wants to have, you know, a big, like she bought in bulk instead of trying to buy here, buy there. She bought her leaves in bulk. So when she does get her Bob Marley, she can just put it in there, you know, break it down, do whatever she needs to do. And she don't have to be like, oh, I gotta go get a leaf too. And people do like to smoke out of leaves. So, Anna in the store trying to trying to see what she can get off of everybody. So Man Man, aka Meatball, had bought her three leaves. She like, you know, I'm not finna buy you the big pack. I'm buy you three. I buy you, I buy you three. I look out a little bit. But you know, mind you, she allegedly be trying to smoke all of uh Biggie's Biggie's Newport. So she limited as well. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. So they get outside and Anna was going back and forth with the lady about the leaves. Biggie's just like, well, you smoke a lot. Like, you smoke, and really, you be trying to smoke off of me. You be trying to smoke off of everybody else. Like, no, nah, just, just buy you a big thing of the leaves or whatever. So, Anna was like, Biggie be trying to be stingy. Like, when it comes to food. Girl. <laughs> Come on. Like. Food is the first example that you go to. You saw Ron. My thing is this. I understand. I definitely understand where Biggie is coming from. Girl, go buy your own stuff. Like, we all grown here. I'm not finna supply your high every time. I'm not finna always supply supply you. I don't owe you that. And I don't care what your situation is. You on the show just like I am. You got to check just like I do. And you feel like in this moment, I owe you I owe you my leaves. I owe you three three more leaves. I don't owe you nothing. So I definitely understand where Biggie is coming from. Just saying, you know, go buy your own. And then you want to puff your chest and get mad because I basically said you need to go buy your own. Now you feel like I'm calling you broke, but you know you broke. 
You know you ain't got it. And you tell me, I ain't these producers. I ain't this. I ain't that. Are you threatening me? Do you want to take it there? Over my leaves? You can't be mad because I don't want you to smoke my leaves. Or I don't want to give you my leaves. These are my leaves for the year or for the month or however. These are mine. Y'all not going to keep smoking off me. And I definitely understand that. And then, too, you can tell she bought it in book. So when they leave the country, she has leaves. Like, she has leaves. They won't. I, well, I know TSA, but I'm sure she bought it in books. So when they go to the United States, she has her leaves. So I'm going to get all in Biggie's face. And she, I'm, Biggie, like, what's the problem? Like, just spend your money. That's all she kept saying was just spend your money. And she was like, it's not about the money. It's not about the money. You're a big headed girl. It's about the money. It's about that money. And tell me, all I got is cash. Well, spend your cash. What's the problem? You keep looking for Zeus and her to pay your way. No, I'm with Biggie. Biggie, you she, then she was like, you doing it for the camera. No, ma'am, I'm doing it for my pockets, okay? <laughs> I had thought about it. You ain't my child. You not my cat. You not my little sister. I'm not going to keep spending money on you, Buki. And every time we go out, it's giving you looking at me to spend money on you. Now, I don't know that, but... For Biggie to be like, you know, just go spend your money. Go spend your money. We all got to check. Go spend your money. That lets me know if I'm just doing contest clues. She always looking for y'all to cover her. And at the end and at the beginning of the day, I'm not going to keep covering for you. I like to smoke. You like to smoke. And I'm not going to keep having you smoke off me. Buy your stuff or get on. And people who smoke for real, like, they do not play that. I know because, you know, I used to deal with people like that. Like, people, people who really smoke for real, for real. No, you're not finna keep leeching off them like that. So I'm glad that Biggie stood up for herself. One point for you, finally. So after Biggie and Anna get into it, they go their separate ways. But Meatball was mad at Biggie earlier. They were, I don't care. It don't matter. This is the last episode. Anyways, so they they separate. Anna telling everybody how she'll beat Biggie up. But then tomorrow, that's my sister at the end of the day. Anyways, moving forward. So the other girls was going to the charity thing. They couldn't even get in the building. Everybody and their daddy heard that. Oh, the baddies is giving out money. <laughs> Let's go hit the block. So they just had a crowd of people, you know, who was ready to have a hand out and get that money. And yeah, it's like. When, when I went to Dominican, them people was living in huts. Like, no show. I did not see no houses or nothing. Uh, they roofs were like, um, I forgot what it's called, but it's like sticks. So, yes, like, they need that money. You know, I'm not being funny or anything. Like, it, it they, they definitely be needing money. You know what I'm saying? So, regardless of how it looked or... You know, it now I ain't gonna lie. I don't like all them people coming up on me. That would gave me scared too. I'd be like, whoa, hold on. Relax, you know, chill. Let's vibe. I'd have been like that, but hey, it is what it is. Um they could have did a better project could have did a better job at being organized and you know, making sure it was a building and they could get in it and it was a small event and they can get back to the women and everything. And hopefully they did cut them a check afterwards. Hopefully they did do that because y'all were in their country. So hopefully they did do that afterwards, but it did get chaotic, but they did help people who needed that money. I need that money. Okay. So they did a, they did a great thing in my opinion. So we move forward. Honestly, I don't even think this video is going to be 30 minutes. Not 30, not 30. I don't think it's going to be 30. No lie. So we move on to Anna versus Nunu. I don't honestly don't care if Anna was talking about Nunu or not. I just want Nunu to get Anna like so bad. She talked too much. I just feel like at this point, somebody needs to whoop her. Period. Like, I need to see that tussle. And no shade. Like, now it's true beef because Nunu did something that a producer told her to do. And, you know, these girls have actual real beef now off of her listening to a producer. Um, I just don't believe that she should listen to that producer. Like, they all sit up here, they were saying, oh, well, we don't listen to producers and all these. Yes, y'all do. But I feel like the producer 
messed her up. But from what I heard, she's supposed to be coming back to Baddies Midwest. So hopefully she can redeem herself on there and not necessarily just listen to production as much. Um, because now y'all truly have real beef. But regardless of you jumping in something that had nothing to do with you and you not minding your business, I need you to get that. Okay? Get that for my entertainment. Because I'm sick of Anna. She irritates me down. I'm sick of her. So do as you wish, uh, no, no, do your thing. I'm ready for you to molly wop, pop, lock, and drop her. Period. So, in the midst of Nunu and Anna getting into it, I just want to address this little part right here of Tasiki and Anna walking off. And Tasiki and Anna was like, oh, y'all ain't been in that house that long. Y'all barely got camera time. I'm paraphrasing what they said. But they like, oh, y'all barely got camera time. Y'all ain't even been in the house that long. Y'all barely made it in the house. All this, all that. Y'all, like, are y'all slow? And not worth waiting on? Do y'all have amnesia on how y'all got here? Like, y'all three or four is irritating. It rotating. Allegedly, Anna, the only reason, only reason why you got your spot is because you had to lay on your back. To lay on your back for it, allegedly. Tasiki, 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 that's Tasiki. Girl, you were the same hood rat that we seen on your sister's show trying to fight your sister because her boyfriend knocked the dog out your dad. Like, be for real. We met you. In an orange dress with a red bra on. <laughs> you barely made it, Buki. <laughs> you barely got here. And it irritates me because Tasiki be acting like she did not come from humble beginnings. And that annoys me. Like, sometimes, you know, these girls be feeling like they on a high horse because they're on baddies. And, oh, I'm making all this money. But allegedly... Anna is not, it's not, it's not giving it. It's not giving, you know, and even if it is, if you is making a bag bag, it's not giving um enough to sustain, allegedly. That's what they said. And with Tasiki, once again, girl, if Krishan was to say remove her today and Zeus could get Krishan back, you will be gone in the blink of an eye. Never forget that. Your hands are everything, but as far after that, you're boring, you're boo-boo. Y'all are just very annoying to me. It irritates me when these girls be acting like they are all this, they are all that. They are the girls, they are the ones. Y'all are not, okay? Y'all are not those girls whatsoever. Even if the replacements did get in the house five minutes, that's first of all, it's not their fault. That's Zeus' fault for... For um, for um, not putting them in early enough. That's their fault. They dropped the ball with that. That has nothing to do with Kiva and Nunu. But I feel like Kiva and Nunu have been doing their thing ever since they were able to get their true camera time. And I think they've been doing an amazing job of keeping up, of, you know, proving themselves to want to be in the house and to be there. I think they have more than enough proved themselves. I just feel like y'all are very comfortable and they need to, you know, start decreasing checks or taking y'all off and giving y'all less camera time because y'all are very boring. And to see your hair looks a mess. No, no, but literally no trend. No trend. I know you're trying to be like Natalie, had her hair different and stuff. Whoever's doing yours is not giving cute. It's not. Them crochet, them crochet dress they ain't put in your head on that wig, it looks a fool, babes. It looks a fool. I know uh, Rolly said you looked cute, but she's lying and she's scared of you. Okay? You look a mess. Thank you. Anna says she gonna see Nunu at that reunion. Girl, from what I heard, you was running like you was running last reunion. You was falling out. You was doing the most, allegedly, at that, um, at the reunions. Girl, please. I see through you. 
I see through you. I don't like you. I don't care for you. But I hope Nunu get that because they said y'all went two rounds. Woo! And I'm excited to see Nunu get that. Nunu, you better have got that. You better have got that, Nunu. On my soul, you better have got that. So we move on to the next scene. And I feel like that scene was just overly produced, overly giving fake, overly giving, we love you, Biggie. Bitch, please. Anyway, so they go up the stairs. Mind you, her and Anna was just arguing. They, you could tell whoever is the director was like, come up the steps like y'all are so happy. So they're like, oh my God. Hi, yes, I'm so happy to see you. Yes, I love you. Yes, you're my girl. What up? Yes. But they all be playing so fake. It be so annoying. So. They get up to the mountain or wherever they was, and no shade, no disrespect to that country. I'm just sorry. I apologize. So they get up there. So Biggie like, oh, y'all can see where I'm from, what makes me. They like, oh, Biggie, we love you, Biggie. Biggie ain't got on the jet yet. <laughs> Biggie ain't hopped on the jet yet. Biggie had to fight for her spot last season. We love you, Biggie. Girl, shut up. Anyway, so Biggie was like, I got a gift for all of you girls for making it to the end. I'm like, oh, my God. Somebody finna come out with the Chanel bags. Oh, my God. Versace wrote that. Fireworks. Oh. <laughs> they pan the camera <laughs> to the sky. Fireworks? Fireworks. Woo! Oh my God. <laughs> Best gift ever. <laughs> Bitch. Fireworks, really? You thought you <laughs> you telling me you got a gift for me and you give me fireworks? This is not Katy Perry. Come and let your colors burst, okay? I'm not saying uh, uh, and uh. I'm really saying bye, bye, and bye, bye. Okay, what is going on here? I'm really like, I'm telling y'all, I'm looking at the screen. I'm like, oh, okay, she finna come with Chanel bag or even like a souvenir or something. You know, a Bible head, something. She said, look up. You disappointed me. You disappointed me. Okay, are you okay? You cool? Fireworks is crazy. So she ended up giving the girl the fire the girls the fireworks as a gift. I'm like, okay. She was balling on the budget. <laughs> That's why she couldn't give on no leaves. She said, girl, I already I paid for these fireworks for y'all for us to get here on time, girl. Look up and enjoy and shut up. So they did the fireworks, and like I said, it was like overly produced. They do, I love you, Biggie, and all that, knowing they do not talk to her. She don't get on the PJ, nothing. So, and then here, they, here go Natalie. Everybody, let's come together, obviously, for the camera, so, you know, they can get a wide shot of them all pulling together, playing like they all really like each other. And then finna go to a dinner and all get into it. Please, be for real. Now, I'm going to say this. At the dinner, I was so happy that this was the last episode I went back on the last season and was like, what number did they stop? And they did stop at 20. So I guess they do one through 20 episodes. And okay, cool. So I seen it and I was like, oh, okay, this is the final episode. And everybody like, my, well, not everybody, but my homegirl, I talked to her about it. And she had told me it was the final episode. And I was like, I thought they had like one more country to go to. But I guess they cut it short. And was like, okay, well, we have enough film. Like, we ready for y'all to go, like, go home. And two, it was, it was like, three weeks, probably almost a month at that point. And, I mean, what else can they talk about? What other beefs can they have? I do feel like the season was very chaotic. And they did have a lot of ideas going on. But a lot of them did not um, sit right. But, so they get to this dinner. A lot of them is telling their last and final thoughts. And I just want to get into some of them because I can really care less about all their final thoughts. So we're just going to get into some. So I want to start off with Callie. So Callie up here hollering about some, oh, you know, Natalie took it the wrong way. No, she didn't. She took it how you made it out to be. You did say that you was coming in and taking her spot. 
you did say that you wanted to get some game, but you said that you were taking her spot. And let's be clear. You're not going to get no game, nor is you taking no spot. The way you get game is to stay around for a long period of time and you just pick up and you know what I'm saying? You overhear conversations. You are in certain conversations. That's how you pick up on game. But as far as you taking her spot, Natalie... Well, I think it's like her fifth season. So Natalie been making some money now almost most likely five, six years for real like big money. Like the millions that they hollering about. Natalie been making that for a while. You you believe that Natalie Nunn is finna allow you to come in and take her spot or play like you're you're gonna take her spot? No. So she had to make you out to be an example. And to an extent, I agree with her as far as like, it is somewhat of a sorority. Nally does have her picks and chooses of who her favorites are and who she would prefer to deal with, you know, when it comes to the the, the real baddie baddie jet or, you know, the other girls having to drive um, or be driven to another another destination. Nelly do have her ways about her. She she does. And let's be honest, she really does. But I don't necessarily believe that her or Jayla bullied her. I don't necessarily believe that they were picking at Kelly. I think Kelly came in with a vision of how she thought it was going to go. And because you decided to come for Nelly, you wanted a storyline of coming for Nelly. They went ahead and booted you out of trying to include you with all the girls. They didn't want to include you. And that way you got booted out and you got up in there with Miss Wanna Be Black. And y'all had to become the best of friends because of a decision you made going in prior. You didn't do your homework. You didn't you didn't analyze the show for what the show is and what the show was. You just knew, oh hey, my brother is Blueface and my mama is Carlissa, and I get this opportunity. So with me getting this opportunity, my stuff gotta be big. I gotta be over the top. And then that's why you barely got any camera time because you started coming for natalie the boss like no because no and if anything honestly your storyline was being a friend of a bigot for real for real we just being honest trying to have a biggest back and you basically you really turned that to be a buster to be honest in my opinion so I I like Callie. I definitely want to see more of her, but I do have to disagree with her point of view. And you know, she was there. So yeah, I'm sure she felt that the them not including her and in certain stuff. And you know, it took her a while to get in the house as well and for the girls to accept her. And I don't necessarily feel like they did accept her. I think she kept her head down after a certain while because she didn't want to get into it with certain people. And you know, it wasn't as great of a time as she wanted it to be. But from what I see, allegedly, she's on the Midwest cast as well. So, hopefully, we see a different side of her. And, you know, we can see more of her personality, hopefully. And I'm going to get back to it. Because why I see Gretch on the on the most likely, allegedly, returning mid Midwest cast? Why is Gretch on there? Didn't we tell y'all to take her off? The disrespect is crazy. So we move on to Tinka, and honestly, babes, I just need you to wrap it up. I don't care what that girl say on TikTok. I don't care. I don't give a... I don't... <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Why you keep bringing it up? Why do you keep crying? And I was feeling the speech till she said, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Are you Okay. If you knew that it was you were gonna do your monologue and your monologue was gonna be about you and meatball, I think you should have wrote it down what you was gonna say because your speech was all over the place. But honestly, Tinka, she been a hater. You like you said, she she don't want you to be great. And you over here saying how you gonna get a chain back, how you will give it to her. She just said how she gonna support somebody who ain't got none. <laughs> you ain't like that one, did you? Like, she been hating on you this whole season. And you are going out of your way to coddle the little girl in her. And that's not 
that's not your responsibility to coddle the child that Meatball is. She is used to having attention. She is used to being a funny one. She's used to being the one who get the attention. So when you started getting the attention, she's hating on that. I'm not understanding why you so ready to sacrifice and fly in and, you know, make arrangements. She's not making those arrangements for you. She don't like you like that. That's that's all this season has showed is that she don't like you like that. She like you enough to keep you in the background, but she don't like you enough to where she want to see you win. That's what I've seen this whole season, to be honest. And every time... You know, after the fact of the chain, it was an issue. But when y'all was on that beach and y'all got the arguing, arguing, and that girl sat up there and said, how can you support somebody who ain't got nothing? And she said she came up there to see how you was living. That's somebody who hanging on you. What's well, not clicking? This is not a friend. That girl don't like you. You see what I'm saying? She don't like you. <laughs> What's, what's not clicking? She said literally on the beach, I'm going to support somebody who ain't got nothing. I came up there just to see how you was living. I just, I'm on the silence for the slowness. I don't know if she just don't want to accept it or what, but on that camera, she showed out on you and you told her don't embarrass you and don't disrespect you. She did both of those things <laughs> on the beach. She did both of those things and she's, it's still consistently embarrassing you and embarrassing you and disrespecting you. So, you know, stand on your boundaries. You ask her not to do those things. And my thing is this, if you ask her not to do it, you you probably knew in the back of your mind she was going to do it. If you had to ask her not to disrespect you or embarrass you, that means she she's played in your face before. And she's talked about your child. So I'm trying to figure out... Why Why do you still want to be so buddy-buddy with somebody who talked about your child, who embarrassed you on TV? You doing all the crying, she ain't. And she dogging you out more than you dogging her out. And you so ready and willing to give up your chain. Like, that's not a real one to me. That's giving, you know, uh, codependency. Like, you looking for, you looking, you're looking to appease her when that's not your place to appease her. You don't owe her anything to appease her. She don't owe you anything, but you appeasing her is not going to make the friendship work out. She don't care for you. She don't like you like that. She like for you to be in the background. And once you start being in the front, and I guess when your distractions left Dia and Slim, you was able to really see how she felt about you, but you already knew how she felt about you. You've seen this. You, you've seen this side of her plenty of times. So you already know how she get down when it come to you or you already know how she act when it come to you. So to me, you you, you should have just accepted, oh, I had a good time. I did this, I did that. You know, I'm losing a friend, but that's fine. Life goes on. Like It's like you, you damn near begging her to be cool with you. You begging her to be your friend again. When, like I said before, she said what she said on that beach. <laughs> she already said it, that you ain't got nothing. You ain't nobody. Why, why is she supporting you? She's already said that. She don't feel like she need to apologize again. She don't feel like you're worthy. You're worthy of that. But if you was her boyfriend, who we call her on um, Twitter with, I'm, I'm sure she wouldn't even disrespect you like that. So she has a habit of disrespecting you and embarrassing you. So move on. So Meat Man responded. And baby Meat Man said, look, we're going home together. You you know, we're going to be right back friends. She goes, you know it's not because I'm tired of it. Are y'all in a toxic relationship? Y'all doing something we don't know about. Because it's giving man and woman, okay? It's giving y'all like each other. It's giving something going on. Because she's talking about something. No, it's not because I'm tired of it. Me, me, man, just like, literally said that y'all going to be back cool. You know y'all going to be back cool. And me, man, said, I apologize. She told me something. I don't accept it because you know I know you for real. I know it ain't about that for real. I, I know that you just like, good. Me, man, said what? I ain't going to say it again. I ain't that type of person. So you better take it or or don't. I don't care because we're going to be back friends. So just proving the point of what it is. I'm, they said they tussled at the reunion. I'm, I'm ready to see how that goes. 
I, I hope y'all was really doing it big as much talking as y'all was doing on Instagram. So it's Diamond's turn, and Diamond ends up revealing that she's been trying to get out the lifestyle that she's been in. I guess that's she's talking about dancing. That's what I'm thinking. That she's talking about dancing, and um, she said, you know, she's trying to get out of it, and she feels like Baddies is about to change her life, and you know, <clears throat> she's grateful for the opportunity. I absolutely believe that. Um, my bad, y'all. I believe as though it is it it did change her life. I think not necessarily um the show, but I feel like the reunion. Because I was watching them the other day. I think this was like Saturday. And I was gonna make a video on it, but I was like, too, it's not nothing to really make a whole video about and bring to y'all. But she had ended up making 60, like 63.7 thousand dollars on TikTok after the reunion. So no wonder she was ready to, you know, stop her career. Diamond had made some big money. And plus she had made, you know, a good, a good chunk of change with, with the reunion, like her going to the reunion and stuff as well. So I think it's great. Honestly, um, I do believe it has changed her life. I don't know if it's for the better or worse, but I do believe Diamond is making great money now. I do feel like her following has went up after that, and she makes money on Instagram and stuff too. Um, so, like she said, it's going to go viral. So, I believe as far as, like, financially wise, Diamond is great. And, you know, she good and she made sure that she was good. And I do think that, you know, as much as people call her a cloud chaser, I do too, call her a cloud chaser or, you know, saying that she always is seeking attention. Diamond, Diamond knew the algorithm. Diamond was very smart when she came on here. She knew that people wanted to be entertained. And I cannot take that away from her. Diamond did her job and did it very well. And I do believe that she she was the person who made sure that we had drama. Even if it wasn't authentic. authentic. Look, I can't say the word, but y'all know what I'm saying. Even if it wasn't that, she still delivered in the drama department. She still delivered with the content. She She kept it up. And I do think that she came in very calculated when she came on the show she understood the aesthetic she understood what goes viral she she made sure that she kept herself um consistent and relevant during the show so i i like diamond diamond is very smart and regardless of if somebody think that you know she did too much or whatever, I I and I've said that she's done too much too. I add myself in that. But Diamond was very smart. She was very calculated. And one thing that she got was that bag. So I'm happy for Diamond. If anything, I'm happy for her. I'm very happy for her. And now that she got the show, during the show she made sure she did her job. And where it really counted was after she made sure she did the reviews. She was talking about everything. And I and I will say too diamond did become a loner because she called them out on their biases you know on how they do stuff like she said um like callie said it's like a sorority it's the you know rich popular girls who are the capitalists of the group and it is dynamics in natalie's nim group you know you have natalie and natalie's girls where hey we go on the pj we get the best gifts well you know, we we get the Sunday um hundred thousand dollar brunches and everything like that. Like we go up, and then you know you have the others who are just the Tasiki them group where Nally Nally like you, but you ain't necessarily in her group. You ain't in the group of the other girls who get the bag for real. The girls who get the bag for real is Natalie and them group, hands down. I don't care what nobody say. They're the ones who get they get that bag. And then the rest of them, they get a nice bag, but it ain't Natalie's bag, you know? So I do believe Diamond did a great job of like understanding the realism behind the show, understanding like who was really friends and you know how everybody pick and choose. She did a great job. So I skipped through Biggie on the Cause y'all know I don't care at all. Tasiki neither. 
don't care. Sapphire, I'm going to see why she crying just a little bit, but I'm probably going to skip through her too. So, uh, Diamond ends up moving because <laughs> Man Man had a butter knife. And uh, Diamond said, so you see this face? And here she goes for some, I got hands. Mm, when you thought JL was coming, you you had a you had something. You had a weapon. So your hands, girl, please. Like, girl, get out of here. Get out of here, please, girl. Oh, I got hands. They're not that great either. <laughs> They're not that great either. They, these girls are not Gretch, okay? You don't have hands like that, Buki. That's why you had that butter knife. So I'm glad I didn't skip Tons and Kine. I'm glad I didn't skip her because she made a lot of sense. Okay, so in the midst of her talking, she was like, I got to buy my girl Ting. Me about to talk. Who cares? Who cares? See, that's what I'm talking about. You see that that hater, that hater. She can't even hide how much she doesn't like Ting. She she can't hide it. Like, it just, it just burst out of her, like, so bad. Like, she cannot stand Ting. Because, I mean, it's just coming out of her. Like, she couldn't even look away or roll her eyes. She had to find something to grab some type of attention to herself. So, Tasiki goes on and tells my son, um, I just feel like we grown women. And a lot of y'all don't respect each other. And a lot of stuff can really be talked through. And uh, Tasiki, shut the hell up. Girl, y'all are on a show. To make content, to entertain us. If it was peace, love, and happiness, the views would be low. We don't care. We want to see y'all get out there. I want you to get like that. Do you need that? You cool? We need that. Okay, babes. That's why I, I personally don't want you back. You trying to be the voice of reason too much. Shut up. And she did end up saying, you know, she hate really fine because she reconstruct faces and she traumatized people. Yes, yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> yeah, you do do that one. I will give you that. You do do that one. Oh, <laughs> okay. So I didn't skip sapphires. I was about to though. I was drinking my drink real quick because I was a little parched. I hear this it, this broad come on my thing. So she ain't waited to the end. She knew they was going to have a dinner before they left. So she waited to the end to give us the uh, crocodile tears. So she ends up saying a lot of y'all was judging me from previous seasons. <sighs> Sapphira, yes, they was judging you. You didn't stick up for your friend when it came time to. And you knew you was going to get judged when you came back. And I guess that's why you was in the background this season. Um, and that's probably why you really ain't talk for real, for real too much in the front. Cause you knew people was judging you cause of what you didn't do. And then you turned around and was like, I show who I am. Sapphire, you barely got any camera time this season. Like be for real. If you want scuffling with Bianca, you was not getting camera time like that. Like no shade. And they, they gave you camera time with that pencil, but that was neither here nor there. That wasn't anything that needed to be missed. I don't necessarily believe that we got to see your full personality or whatever you want to call it. I felt like last season before you and Suki got into it, we were rolling in ET, you were more aggressive about a lot of things. You felt like you had to come here and stand on business. We bullying the bullies and all this and all that. And now that you by yourself, it was, well, I'm going to sit in the background because I know a lot of the girls really don't care for me because of what happened with me and my friend. And that's true. And honestly, I'm going off you trying to get your link back from ET, and that just not working in your favor. I'm more so going off that, but you was wrong. You were super wrong, and you wanted to come in here, you know, trying to stand on your own and trying to show your personality outside of Suki, but they didn't even give you Honestly, the camera time for you to show your personality because they said, hmm, Sapphire's really not doing that much. It's giving kind of boring. And you are boring. No shade. You're you're very boring. And you know, the thing with you and Bianca was boring to me, honestly. Every, the whole the whole encounter gave boring as ever to me. But you know, it is what it is. Um, she's come fr from the list that I see, she's coming back for the Midwest. She'll be returning too. So we'll see Sapphire again in that pencil. 
so let's get to the end because at this point, I'm oh, bored. So they go to the chain part. Of course, everybody, everybody raised their hand for Meatball. Meatball was called out first and they flew their hands up. When it came to Cali, they, it was one hand. I was like, oh my God. So Cali was like, just get, like, I feel like y'all already voted, just give Meatball the chain. Which is true. They weren't tripping on it. And I think they 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 did want Diamond and Cali to feel some type of way or for them to be like, oh my God, like you just gave her the chain, da 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 da, all this, all that. So Diamond was like, you know, just gonna get her the chain, Natalie. Like, y'all already voted, just gonna get her the chain. So Natalie, like, no, no, no. Like, we're all gonna do a vote. No, you was looking for content and Diamond didn't give it to you. So Diamond was like, just get her the chain. Like, y'all already voted for her to get the chain. Just give it to her. Like, it's not that deep. It's not that serious. And she calls him out on being fake because if y'all do really mess with Tinka, y'all wouldn't y'all wouldn't have even gave um Meat man, no chain. And she right. Y'all, we love Tinka. Oh, my God. We vibe with Tinka. Da, da, da. Soon as Meat Man name was called, everybody flew up their hand. But Meat Man been getting on all y'all nerves. She had called y'all out for giving Asian doll a chain. You know, and was like, what does a baddie have to do? Da, da, da. And like Diamond said, she was saying that the chain was cheap. She was saying everything. Not only that, she had got on live before and told some I don't even wear the chain. She had did all that over the chain. Y'all truly just gave her the chain so she could shut up, to be honest. And y'all wanted Callie and Diamond to get into it or argue over the chain. So here come Rolly, big back neck, fat ever ass, irritating me always. I can't stand her. She's so annoying. I, I get sick of her big blocker book looking self. She's annoying. She gets on my nerves. I cannot stand her. Literally annoying. So here she go. Tell me something. Give me the chain. You ain't do enough. You ain't do enough. You don't do enough. They gave you a show and they gave you five episodes. And within me doing two episodes, the views went down expeditiously on episode three through five. Rolly, nobody be stunning you. Truly. I know it'd be some people like, well, Rolly, yeah, well, Rolly, yeah. But them your people for, you know, your people that's probably BBW and they really like you because they feel like you represent. But behind that, nobody be stunning you, Rolly nobody not a cool personality they have said for years that you've changed your personality up your surgery looks a hot mess to me i do not care what nobody say nothing is giving flat at all over there you sit up here saying you got your surgery for health reasons but the first thing you did was get a bbl that is not for health reasons sister you came on the auntie's podcast makeup looking like who did it and why did they do it and go get her go get her off the show with that thin wig bob that you have for on your head and that makeup looking like casper the friendly goes and you sat up there flew out that chair flew out that chair to go give meat man a newport queen maybe even king if we being honest that that chain and then tinker whole bella are you cool? Are you okay? This is the same person when Tasiki said that she was getting to know you, booed you. Said, but who cares? This is the same person who just said she not apologizing to you again. This is the same person who talked about your child. This is the same person on the beat said, how could she support somebody who ain't got nothing, girl? Tell me, I don't care what she did. It don't matter. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over there and support. I'm going to still be true to myself, girl. You need to wake up. Okay, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the dumbest of them all? Girl, please. And y'all did give me man that chain for, because she kept nagging about it. Let's be honest. She didn't do anything as far as like a baddie. The aesthetic wasn't there. She barely really talked if it wasn't about Tinka. It, it wasn't about nothing. She was always smoking them Newports. And you would see her here and there, but it wasn't like she was really giving everything. She's already bashed y'all. And she looked at a mess the whole season. And she she really wanted that chain because she's used to getting attention. But be for real, I think Diamond was absolutely right. 
Um, I respect Diamond for standing up. And, you know, too, it is hard because even as women, you know, like she's like Callie said, they do be clicked up. So, you know, they wanted to prove to Diamond, like Diamond don't run nothing. Diamond ain't finna call nobody out on nothing. It's more so trying to prove. So then Natalie was like, a boss. A boss always has too. Like Diamond said, she really could care less. She came in with her own chain, number one. Number two is plastic, baby. It's plastic. It's plastic. Nobody needs to change that bad. And I'm sure when y'all go back, because if they want her for baddies Midwest, they're going to give her a chain. <sighs> Be for real. Like, it's not that serious. And she was just calling y'all out on y'all junk. So Nelly was like, a real boss, a real boss is um always going to come prepare. Always have two. Um, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm not giving nothing. I'm going to keep the chain. And I'm going to go get on my jet. That's how you do that. Woo! Woo! Three stars for you. Girl, Natalie, first of all, that's not even your jet. That's Zeus jet. Let's be clear. You don't even own your show, allegedly. So, shut up, wig. You don't, you don't even own your show, Allegedly. So what jet of yours are you getting on when you don't even own the rights to your show, allegedly? That is Zeus jet, Buki. That is Lemmy. Lemmy Pepper's jet, okay? Mr. Lemon Pepper, that's his jet, okay? That's his company's jet. That's the network's jet, baby. That's not yours. You don't own that. Shut up. Trying to trying to play like you saw capitalism on somebody, like you just got it like that. Natalie been rich for five minutes and don't know how to act. And to an extent, I don't really care for that because one minute y'all was just helping, you know, the needy and you know, people less fortunate, and then you throwing up in somebody's face how you finna go get on your your baddie chat. You finna go get on your private chat. You finna get up out of here with the pores. You you're gonna keep your baddies chain. Because what you did was disgusting. How is what she did disgusting? Because she called y'all out on y'all being fake. And how y'all love, love, love Tink. And then turned around. And all y'all had a discussion that Meat Man was going to get the chain anyway. And y'all just went ahead and gave Meat Man a chain. But y'all didn't have no discussion when it came to Asian Doll. Natalie really liked the Asian Doll. And you can tell she really likes her. She loved her some Asian Doll. She really liked Asian Doll. And she gave Asian Doll the chain because she wanted to give Asian Doll the chain. Or Lemmy wanted to give Asian Doll the chain. But let's be honest. When it came to Meat Man, y'all got tired of Meat Man talking. Y'all got tired of Meat Man saying something to y'all about the chain. Y'all wanted to keep Meat Man happy because Meat Man supposedly had all these followers and all these supporters coming through and y'all wanted Meat Man to, you know, make sure the ratings went up so y'all kept Meat Man around when, honestly, Meat Man did nothing to stay around. Meat Man should have been gone when Dia and Slim left, to be honest, because she gave nothing to the show whatsoever. And I'm done with them, and um, I've given my commentary. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Jocelyn's show was way more entertaining to me this week. Um, so I'm going to get into that one. Um, I'm going to see you on the next one. Bye.